It's Deegan. It's VidNote Zone. Three, two, one. Let's go. Learning target. I will understand how the Industrial Revolution began. We're going to talk about that today. Why did the Industrial Revolution begin? Advancements in technology produced the Industrial Revolution. Technology like this machine here. Where did it begin? The Industrial Revolution began in the late 1700s in England. Where is England on this map, huh? Here it is. Please circle England on your map on your paper now. Why England? Reason number one, the Industrial Revolution originated in England because of its natural resources. Two natural resources, iron ore, O-R-E, and coal. These two were in abundance in England. Reason two, this man, James Watt, an Englishman, invented the steam engine in his country of England. This is the steam engine right here. Reason number three, the enclosure movement. England's enclosure movement changed land laws. English peasant farmers, the poor, could no longer use free public land to farm and raise livestock. That's right. No, no. Reason number three, the enclosure movement. English peasant farmers moved to cities to work in factories that were starting to grow and sprout up. The IR, the Industrial Revolution, spreads. After England, the Industrial Revolution spreads to Western Europe and the United States. Let's take a look at this map. The green dot is England, and it shows you how the Industrial Revolution expands with each red line. And of course, the Northeast US, that's where the IR goes to. The impact, the effect of the IR, number one. The IR sparked the rise of the factory system and the demise, meaning the end, of the cottage industries. Rise, fall. What is a cottage industry? Cottage industries are businesses that are in people's homes. And in the 1600s in England, people were making cloth in their own homes. Impact number two. The IR sparked an increased demand, an increased demand for raw materials from the Americas, Asia, and Africa. On your map, on that blank map on your page, page please label North America, South America, Asia, and Africa. Do it. Impact number three. The IR expanded the world's cotton textile, iron, and steel industries. And of course, when you melt iron ore, you make steel. And steel can be used to make buildings, including the world's strongest skyscrapers. And that's it. That's the end of 6-1. After you write down one question, think of one question you'd like to ask based on what we just learned. Write it down, and then you're done with 6-1. Don't forget about the 6-1 Canvas quiz that is awaiting you right now. This is Mr. Deegan signing off.